Hello you guys and welcome to day one of my five days of my faves and fails of 2021. In this video today, I'm going to talk about, of course, my five favorite makeup products that really stood out to me in this year. And I think that all of them launched this year, which is key. So 2021 favorites, not necessarily favorites overall. That's a separate list that I probably have somewhere on my YouTube channel where it's like just my key favorite foundations and things like that. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on on all five days, which I'm gonna be talking about the worst ones, the most okayest ones, you know, and yada, yada, yada. So check me out there. Go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok if you want some more silly kind of content where I don't take myself too seriously, just some funny reels and TikToks and all of that. Also memes and stuff. So I'm at Ashley Alex at all those places. But without further ado, let's jump into this little pile of goodies right here. Okay, a little booper, boop. All right, let's talk about first this one. This was probably the most surprising to me. I was doing a video back in the beginning of the year where I was talking about makeup brands that nobody really talks about and trying stuff from each brand. And it was the hard candy brand that really surprised me with their Glamouflage concealer. Now you might be thinking Glamouflage, it's been around forever. Okay, I know it used to be in a squeezy tube. Okay, and super full coverage. They reformulated it, I think, and they put it in this little, you know, shape tape kind of concealer one situation has a little weird bevel though, but I like it. This concealer is phenomenal. I'm actually wearing it today and I thoroughly enjoy it. It's almost quite, maybe it's the same coverage as Shape Tape. I've never done a side-by-side -side comparison, but it's really, really good coverage and the best drugstore concealer for full coverage that I have found. There is not the most pleasant smell, but it's like $5 and it's worth it. And it's super creamy. It's not too drying. I really enjoy this. Should I save the best for last? I'm gonna save the best for last. I'm gonna save the best for last. Yes, okay, so this one might be surprising if you watch my videos or if you look at me for a second because I'm very colorful. I like a lot of colors in my life, but this neutral palette surprised me. This is from ColourPop. It's the Your Golden Palette. It's one of their big mega palettes and I really, 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 really enjoy this palette. I was so surprised by myself for getting this. However, it has all the things that I like in a neutral palette. It has your more warmer kind of corally tones. It has a little pop of blue and the shimmers in here are really creamy and really nice. That is so lovely. And every look I've come up with using this palette, I just feel really pretty. So when I want to grab like a basic neutral palette that just makes me feel pretty, I grab this and I love it and I have never been disappointed. So love that. Super, super surprising to me. And also while we're talking about ColourPop, let's talk about my third favorite of the year. ColourPop released these little blush quads, face quads, and they are so nice. This is the cookie cluster shade. I'm a sucker for coral tones if you can't tell. And I, for the longest time, could not find co good coral blushes. I was just talking to somebody on my Instagram comments about this. I couldn't find good coral blushes. Now brands are all coming out with coral blushes and I can't stop. Now I feel like I only have coral blushes in my collection, but that's okay. That's besides the point. I love this formula. It's really nice. And it's nice to have these three different, totally different coral shades. I do usually mix these two. This is really bright but I love it. And then that one, oh, it's so good. Oh, and this one's your more neutrally one. And of course up here you have a super shock highlighter. So I love that formula and there's so many to choose from. So you don't have to just do this coral one if you don't want to. I really like that one. I think I've used it in a ton of videos if you want to check any of them out. Okay, Samantha Ravindal's Auric Glow Lust. Okay, <laughs> here's the thing. I have, I have some exceptions to this, kind of, kind of. I, I wanna talk about it. Auric Glow Lust. Okay, first of all, I can't get all this packaging. I will never throw this box away. It is too freaking beautiful, but let's talk about the product itself, okay? This product is exactly what I wanted the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter to be, and it just wasn't for me. For some reason, I could not get that product to work on my skin, and I know this was like, basically the inspiration for her. I'm pretty sure that was the inspiration for her because it's like her favorite product. She did it better, okay? There, I said it. I think she did an amazing job. The formula is perfection. I can use it in all the ways, like adding a little bit into my foundation to mix. I can put it on top of my foundation when it's wet, or I can even tap it on when it's dry. It's everything I wanted the Charlotte Tilbury to be 
and more, okay? I love this. It feels like it lasts throughout the day. It's so beautiful. I do have the shade Selenite, and I am typically a light neutral, if that helps at all. The glow is so nice. It is pricey. However, you get a lot, a lot, a lot of product in there, and it does have just like a feel about it. I was trying to think. You'll probably find some dupes out there at a more affordable price point, but for me, it's kind of like that experience that you're paying for. I don't want to say that. The product itself is really, really good. So to me, the price makes sense because you're not only getting a gorgeous, beautiful product, you're also getting gorgeous, beautiful packaging that just gives you like a feeling when you use it. Makeup to me is more than makeup. Maybe I should just say that. Makeup to me is very therapeutic. It's a feeling that I get. Listen, I love drugstore. I, this is one of my favorite concealers, but I also love this. The closest thing I think I've come to this formula is from Tarte, actually. It's the Glow Wand. That formula is very similar to this. It's not as expensive, but you're not gonna get as much. But if you feel like you wanna dabble in this, or if you already have that glow wand, you'll know it's kind of almost the same, but that one you won't be able to mix with your foundation. You'll you'll go through it so fast. But if you just want it like to highlight for liquid, then that Tarte Glow Wand is very close in formulation to this one. However, I love this one. That is really nice. I like it. Good, good, good job, Samantha. Good job. Okay, last product, which has to be my favorite product of 2021 in general, because I just love it. And let me tell you why. It is from Tarte. It's the Glow Powder. It's the Shape Tape Glow Powder. Maybe you've been around for a while and you saw my first impressions review on it. I fell in love. What I love about this glow powder isn't that it's like some kind of highlighter. You can use it like that and like really concentrate it with the special brush, maybe wet it and then you'll get a concentrated highlight. No, that's not what I like it for. It is meant to be a setting powder the way I like to use this. First, I set my foundation and concealer with my normal powder, specifically in the areas that I get a little bit more oily or I crease. So my forehead, under the eyes, around the mouth. And then I take a big fluffy brush and I dust this all over my face because what I like so much about it is it makes my skin still look hydrated, have a glow to it without shimmer, just has a nice glow, but it's set. My skin looks healthy. If you are like me and have more dry skin and setting powders tend to like suck the life out of you, this is a nice kind of topping powder. Let me think of it that way. It's because it's not a highlighter. It's just like a dusting powder that has luminosity to it. That's not going to add a bunch of shimmer to your skin. So I love the Shape Tape Glow Powder from Tarte my favorite of the year because I feel like it makes my skin look so, so healthy and that's what I'm all about, okay? So those are my top five favorite makeup products of 2021. Stay tuned for tomorrow, which we will do day number two. I haven't narrowed down exactly what I'm gonna be talking about, but I do have a whole list of everything. I just don't know which order. So come back and check. Subscribe if you haven't so that you get notified when that next video comes out. Make sure your bell is tapped, by the way. Make sure that's turned on so you actually get notified when I post more videos. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all those places, you know the drill. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.